infograms. <sighs> Hello. Do, do, do. So, hello everybody. Uh, it is Wednesday. Time to see me play this spooky, spooky game. Got onto disc three. I can probably play longer tonight since I don't have work in the morning. So, we'll see how it rolls. Alrighty, so, what was I doing? Last time we entered the monastery, got attacked by a demon that just wrecked our shit, uh, and then got separated. So now Keldelka's all by her lonesome. Thankfully, she's a, a rather good glass cannon, so she can just blow things up with her magic. Uh, she's equipped with Mystic Knuckles, makes her go quick. My, uh, I was playing a different game, so the controls are also going to be weird now. <sighs> All right, let's see. This is good. All right. Let's go this way. Yes, another statue. What's Patrick's quarters? these controls again. You see a statue of a woman. Yes, I want to attach the ring to it. So it's filling up my inventory. to fight. Let's fucking get it. Player two. Uh, this guy. I was hoping that would hit the bat thing, but apparently it didn't. See what I mean by it? she's a murder machine? So now I'm going to run away like a little pansy. This way, the bat can't get to me, and I can shoot it in the face of the magic. This might be a bit of overkill, but there's never such there's no such thing as overkill. Today is Wednesday, right? Yes. Ooh, a pea spear. <laughs> Gemma, there we go. I see a statue of a woman. Items of goddesses did I have? Probably four. Icons crown. Yep. Alright, so no problem. Ooh, what's over here? The 
Gator Grounds. You see a door under the water, which I'm pretty sure if I get all these icons stuff will open up. Man, every one of these areas is a safe room. I mean, I'm not complaining. Prevents me from dying. <laughs> Alright, this feels really Resident Evil right now. save. Time to kill something. I have no idea what that is. I've never fought it before, so I'm going to shoot with magic. It looks big. Don't come near me. Don't touch me. Oh, he moved twice. I'm scared. Fire! I think that got him. Yes, he is dead. Sweet. <sighs> Godelka, you kick ass. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Some mind. We all think speed or strength. Pie. Yes, always pie. <laughs> Look at those obelisks. Oh, they torment me so. And this pushes me to the statue. Right. Alright, so this statue is to get that holy sword. Hmm, okay. Must be 
They probably mirror each other, so I have to go ahead back and see. If I had to imagine they mirror each other. Anything on this one? Can I go this way? But it don't look like it. Wait. Secret tunnel? Secret tunnel? Am I going down secret tunnel? Nope. Oh well. <sighs> Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, through the mountains. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. What's over here? Can I go this way? I don't think I can. Weird angles, man. Weird angles. I found it. It's this dog again. Well, you know, ooh, I got fire level three now. Ooh, that would be so cool, but. So I just started blasting. Holy shit. The wind was a good choice. I fucking decimated that thing. Magic of magic of crits. Yeesh. What'd you give me? Galahad sword? The fuck? Is that a rare drop? That sounds pretty badass. I mean, it doesn't really do much. Oh, sounds so much cooler than it actually is. Uh, let's see, let's look at it. Galahad sword. Examine. Oh, okay. It's a copy of the sword used by Sir Galahad at the round table. It has not survived the years well, becoming so brittle and weak that its blade has snapped. Alright. Cool. Got my hopes up. It's alright, though. Aw, thank you, Vicky. I always appreciate it when you drop in to say hi. You know? Had me on as a background noise or whatnot, because now you can hear, listen to my sweet, sweet voice say, What the fuck? Or what the hell is that? I say it a lot in this game. Alright, now what's unlocked? Bullets? Nope. Right. Ah, okay. Can I still save? I probably won't be able to. No, but there was an item. I found a pendant. I want to pick up the pendant. I, what, did anyone catch what that said? I clicked too fast. Equip. Was the pendant a thing I could equip? Oh, it was. Ooh. Oh yeah, totally perfect video game etiquette. Asking, what the fuck? Or what is this shit? Or what the fuck, man? Uh, pendant seems aight. Lowers my int and pie. At least from my badge. I'm pretty sure the ring is not as good. Alright. Slightly less pie. I need pie. Pie is important. Isn't that right, Vicky? Pendant with strong mystic powers. Given to a Kadelka when she was a young... When she was young by a gypsy. Alright, so it is specifically Kadelka's pendant that we found in a... Fountain. 
Okay. Uh, so let's see. Lowers her pie by a lot, but her luck by double. 35. Yeah, I'll do it. A little less pie, but, you know, I'll live with it. I'll just use... Pie can be replaced by uh, items, you know. It's just... It's your magic... Oh, fuck, that's also your magic defense. I think I'll level up my pie next time. Have I been saying pie too much? To those who watch this in YouTube, drink whenever you hear the word pie. Hmm. Found the moil. Birds. Kill it with fire. Let's try out Flare 3. I ain't fucking around with no birds. That's why I don't fuck around with birds. Like Yu-Gi-Oh. Wind monsters are weak against Earth. Ooh, rifle rounds. All right, these birds can be all right. They give me bullets. What is over here? Ooh, a ladder. You see dried spots of blood here and there. Alright, is there a... What's the map? Alright, there's a... Oh, there's another one over here. Ooh, pistol rounds. Actually, no. How many pistol rounds do I got? Seventy-eight. All right. <sighs> yes, you enjoy that movie. I gotta see that new Dune movie, apparently. Right here, it is quite good. There's countless bloodstains splattered everywhere. You don't say. Watch out, scary shit. Got knocked out by a pirate. Don't be unreasonable. We can't handle that many passengers. The sky is getting dark. The draft. The draft. We are sinking. Bessie. Bessie. The meat is burning. It's burning. No, it's not working. No. Hey, hey. Where are you going? I'm hoping that, you know, with this black screen, I'm supposed to be like, oh, I can't see anything, I'm going to wake up. That or my PlayStation's acting up. I hope it's the first one. Uh, 
It was the first one. Are you awake? These ruffians! You harlot! Stump it! Have you no shame? Oh, if only Elaine had been saved, we wouldn't be in this mess. Elaine? Ah, uh, yes. She was merciful. She was benevolent. She believed me, and she was fond of my paintings. Uh, your paintings? The sun it wasn't my fault! All of a sudden, there was a coal ship out of nowhere. It was dark. What could we do? It sank so fast. I was faultless, Elaine. Poor, poor Elaine. If only I'd stayed with her. Hey, you! You! Hey! How's that? Just a lamp? You, I'll make you just a lamp! You're crazy! Shut up! <laughs> Old lady with the shotgun. Let's stop this now. It's time to stop. It's okay. It's over. Oh, these I'm are the caretakers. Sorry. My husband. A long time ago. He was the captain of a big pleasure boat. It was a gorgeous the pleasure boat. boat. He was so proud of it. But then there was the accident. So many people died. Everyone blamed my husband. It was so difficult for him. He started drinking heavily. <laughs> Silly, isn't Cheers. it? No matter how much you drink, you can't forget such a tragedy. Yeah, it's but true. But Elaine, she believed he was innocent. She helped him carry on. This Elaine, she's dead? Yes. Why is it that good people seem to die so early? What a waste. While Elaine's naive. husband Patrick was traveling, a robber broke into their house. My husband has always said, if only I had been there for her. We should stop this conversation now. My husband is waiting. He can be so impatient, you know? Fuck. Alright, I should probably put a suicide warning up in this bitch. Uh, yeah. Probably the most darkest thing we've seen so far, besides the kind of uh, gore-tastic enemies. Also, I was strapped in with like buckles and like stone stuff. How is a knife going to help me? There's something about Bessie's body that bothers you. How she just willingly just, you know, KO'd herself. Ooh, rifle RD. Yeah, I'll pick up the rifle RD. What's the rifle RD mean? Uh, items, weapons, rifle RD. What's the difference between that and rifle? <sighs> a modified rifle with a shorter barrel than the standard model. The short barrel makes it easier to handle and allows for a faster reaction time. I. Uh. Well, let's, let's try to equip it. What's it got? All right, better Zex. No, I lose more pie. I, I can't keep losing pie like that. I need the, I need the pie. Even though having a rifle will be pretty neat. I'll give it to Edward when he comes back. You see something blue shining in Bessie's bosom. It's the blue key! Yeah, pick up that blue key. What else you got? Alright. Well, let's go back downstairs. Explore this a little bit. Now that I'm not going to get, you know, smacked upside the head. You see dried bloodstains. You see dried bloodstains. I see a crank. Hello. You have the strangest sensation that there's something on the side of the... That someone's on the other side of this door. So, uh, I shouldn't be opening that door, you say? 
trying to figure out what the fuck this angle is. Alright, so... Okay, it's top, bottom down, looking up. The other side of the room. Got it. What we got down here? Zombies. Fighting zombies. You know, this is like the most basic enemy we'd be fighting right about now. It's weird that we're fighting them now. HP, do you? What we got? Any cool items? Nope. What's this? Rifle rounds. No, how many rifle rounds do I got? Yeah, I'm already at 99. I'll hold off. I'll come back and pick them up. found a bottle of blood. Do you want to pick up the item? Unfortunately, I probably have to. Lovely. Thank God. That's oh, so are you okay? Are you hurt? No. I'm okay. How about you? I almost got cleaned by that monster. Luckily, I went down the side hallway. Walls caved in. We can't get back to the sanctuary. I figured if you'd escape from the garden, you'd be here. Thank God I took the underpass. Ah, it's no use. This door won't open. Damn it! Is we... there another way out? Aren't you underneath the arbor? There is. There is another door across from the cathedral. The cathedral, that's right. There's got to be another way out. A secret passage or something. Secret passage? Okay, let's split up. Kadelka, start from that door. We'll go along the wall. Find a place to regroup, clear? Got it. Kadelka. Yeah? Don't get killed. <laughs> Same to you. <laughs> Aw, I think they're following it. I think they like each other. A little bit more than plutonically. Mm-hmm. The library. Let's use a temp save here. Something's not right. Oh, boss fight time. Good thing I did that save. The fuck is that? Uh, magic. Flare. Huh. 
Well, that's imposing. I don't think he liked that. Player was 17. This is missed. Action magic. Hopefully, I have that chainmail on. Spent that hour grinding it out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm guessing he's either immune or resistant to earth magic, so I keep missing with it. Try water next. Actually, I'll try giving it a stell. Best of the best, baby. One hundred MP, yay. Action magic. Let's try Let's try tornado. He's resistant to earth. Wind should be a weakness, right? <laughs> Bitch. And now I'm poisoned. Yay. Yep. He is weak to wind. Not that it matters anymore. Because he died doing what he loved. The Matrix. Level up, get that pie. And yeah, pie. So I have a nice base level of pie. What'd you get me? Fuck yeah, shotgun. Motherfucking shotgun, y'all. Shining with light, feel appears to have been purified by the holy water. Alright, so there's a mixture of like Nordic runes down here. We had Greek lettering, we had uh, Christian demons. This is like all over the place with fucking theistic demons and shit. That's great, I love it. Yeah, okay, I came from that way. That way, alright, so now I want to go left. Something on the way? No, nah, goddammit. You can't get through the door no matter how hard you try. Alright, cool. Go around town. I can get through this door though. Okay, what's up, buddy? How you doing? What's this? Looks like an apple. Ah, sweet Roman nuts. 
always pick up them Roman nuts. Oh yeah, let's check out that shoddy. Ooh, got that good strength dex. Chelsea is not too much lower, but that and eh, the pie is not that much of a bad hit either. Hmm. Double bell shotgun though. I don't got any rounds. I'll hold off. Good luck use most of use the magic anyway. You see a statue of a woman that words, when the goddess bleeds, then shall she fall, are inscribed in it. Yeah, I'll use the bottle of blood. Cool. <laughs> What's in here? Okay. Um, honestly, wasn't expecting that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Creature of some kind. It says, pipe, organ, move, go below. If I can figure out how to do thumbnails, that is going to be the thumbnail. Wasn't expecting some eldritch plant horror. Not gonna lie. I have a feeling that if I ran across that, something would have happened. I think I didn't. Something over here. What are you? Pistol rounds. No, I'll hold off on you, actually. You know, I always say pick up your pistol rounds, but I'm kind of stacked on pistol rounds. I don't want the more I pick up, I waste. Don't want to waste your pistol rounds. That's for sure. More poopy butt hands. Gotta kill these poopy butt hands. because I have horrible accuracy, or that miss because it's resistant to fire. I hope it's the fire. Alright, resistant to fire, that means I should use water. Always wash your hands, folks. Wash your poopy butt hands, folks. Wash your poopy butt hands. Yeah, give me that MP back. Starting to look like elemental weaknesses are coming into play now. First part of the game, I didn't really have to worry about it too much. Now, some monsters are becoming immune, which in this case, it just misses the spell. But it looks like it has a pretty basic, like, you know, water beats fire, fire beats water, earth beats wind, wind beats earth type shit. That's easy.
I heard glass break. Use a little Where am I actually? Let's check the map. Alright, so came up from there. There's a stairway that leads up to there. There's a corner and a gate area. Let's check over here. Chains rustling in the wind, that's what that sound is. Alright. Um, let, let me move. Yep, thank you. Alright, what's over here? Ooh, a doll. Alright, Vegeta's doll. Okay, cool. Now that I got these two dolls, I can help those ghost kids. Saint Daniel's grave. Yes. I'm kind of just going through this thing blind, so... Oh, you all repent now! Judgment Day is near! The cacophonous sound of seven bugles will consume the heavens! And all sinners will burn this in the guy fiery again. wrath of the Lord! Uh, but I... No, I will not die! Mm -hmm. Death knows no boundaries. It is an integral part of each and every took life. Took this long to notice. Death is ultimately an act of grace and love from the Lord. <laughs> oh, a blessing, is it not? <laughs> oh, Daniel Scotius Eregina, blameless soul. That man has not a heart to be found in his body. Uh, though I do thank him for building the monastery here. And you are? Hmm. Where are my manners? <laughs> Hello. My name is Raja Bacon. I am a monk from the Franciscan order. A monk? And I thought you were a mummy. <laughs> Yes, you are quite right in your assessment of me. Sun-dried kippers may be more pleasant to look at than dull. My shriveled up appearance. There was a time when I was hailed as the foremost warlock. But my profession seems to go in and out of fashion with the passage of time. <laughs> Can't do much about that, can I? You are a strange man. <laughs> I like That's this guy. That's he can be called a man. <laughs> I have given up being a man many hundreds of years ago. I am no longer a person. <laughs> Though I hesitate to answer questions regarding my existence because I have yet to figure out exactly what I am. <laughs> That's fine. It's not that I need to know anyway. Hmm. But tell me, why were you sleeping in such a strange place? I've never been able to awake in a good mood. <laughs> and I just planned to rest for a while. What year is it anyway? Are we still on the Gregorian calendar? Are you trying to fool me or are you being serious? Of course I'm being serious. The clock I own was too big for the coffin. <laughs> It's 1898. Lord have mercy. In 100 years, I'll be born. I've been asleep for close to 100 years. Well, I guess there are some things that still surprise you. Watch out. When life begins to lack the element of surprise, that's when you are walking down the path to the Lord. <laughs> anyway... As a token of my appreciation, I'm going to keep the metal gate unlocked for you. Go through the gate. <laughs> Why would you do this for me? Well, it seems to me 
that your friends are running amok inside the monastery grounds. They're making so much noise. Would you mind telling them to keep it quiet? Huh? Hmm? <laughs> All right. This guy's creepy yet insane at the same time. I love him. I like him. Probably gonna have to kill him. But, you know, it's okay. Circle of life after all, right? It's weird that I had to pray at a thing. It is what it is, I guess. Right, let's check this area really quick. See if I can summon any more uh, dudes. This one looks important. Found Charlotte's grave. Yes, why not? I'll pray in front of Charlotte's grave. Yeah, Charlotte was that little girl ghost from before. She tried to kill me. Twice. numbers I think that's a mummy seems like overkill but he's undead so it's got to be weak to fire right that's the staple He was weak to it, but it definitely killed him. What I get? Ooh, high potions. I have so many healing items, it's not even funny. find that sweet spot to go up them stairs. Hey, triangular hallway. I can't go any further. Uh, let's check the map. Let's look, see what we got. Alright, I've been here before. I uh, can't go that way, so I shall go back to. Oh, yeah, I'm back to the library. <laughs> That's where I'm meeting Edward and James. I can't remember his name. It's not important to me. Ooh, Glass Man! Action, magic, megalith. Getting too powerful for my own good. Oh! What's up, Nito? And uh, I say that is pretty uh, decent background noise while cleaning all those consoles.
Probably going to do that sometime this weekend, since I'll have uh, today and tomorrow off, and then I'm taking leave. Go on vacation. Get that piety. It's a mine. What, what'd you drop? Ooh, a lance. <sighs> well, you didn't miss much. Um, so, what you did miss... I'm not sure when you joined in, but, you know, I started the game out, uh, dropped off some key items. Um, so the caretakers of this place, uh, the dude kind of ambushed me, knocked me out, tied me down to a slab, and was about to just start chopping me to pieces. He was also the captain of the ship that went down. So if you were paying attention to the last stream, it was like a picture that he painted. He used to be a captain. And then his wife shot him. And uh, then killed herself. So it was very graphic. So if you rewatch the stream when I post it to YouTube, you know, fair warning. Uh, any retro stores? Eh, we'll see what happens when I'm on my way. Uh, I'm trying to keep it a bit uh, easy at the moment. I may have gone a little bit crazy with uh, Shop Goodwill Online and picked up some goodies. So when they come in, I'll show you. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, she shot herself, and you see it all, and this this game earned its M rating on that one. <laughs> also, the dude was crazy. He was talking like a pirate. It was hilarious. Follow me on YouTube to rewatch all that. Hey, reunited at last. Kadoka. Edward. Reunited. Thank goodness you're okay. Feels so good. That's not completely the case. Not copyrighted. I have some bad news for you. I saw the caretakers, both the husband and wife. Or really, where were they? They're dead. Apparently, they were the ones responsible for killing all the thieves and desperados that were sneaking into the monastery, and with good reason. I don't know. I don't believe. You it. should know very well what has been going on. Ogden was trying to avenge the death. Of Elaine. Death. Of Elaine? I don't believe it. This is preposterous. Who is Elaine? I have no idea. Okay, good. I thought All I missed something. All I know is Elaine's spirit called me to this place. Tell me. Who is Elaine? And Patrick. The caretakers told me that robbers broke into Elaine's home while Patrick was away and murdered her. Elaine was a benefactor for the caretakers. They took it upon themselves to murder every single robber and desperado that entered their grounds. It was a form of revenge for them. I'm originally from Ireland, you see. Oh, really? Although small, my family had a successful business and was soon able to send me to school. Which I loved from a very early age. I was soon accepted to a prestigious university in England. Ooh, smart boy. And with my parents' assistance, I made my way across the ocean. I met Patrick at university. We were both studying chemistry and embarking upon similar paths. About that same time, began competing for the love of a beautiful woman, Elaine. Ooh. And we had a falling out. I loved Elaine with all my heart. Omnia Vincent Amor. But love does not conquer all. I soon discovered that I lacked the social status and inheritance money necessary to properly care for someone so well-bred and sheltered as Elaine. I gave up my suit and made way for Patrick. To ease my pain, I joined the church and left the secular world behind. And being the perfectionist I am, the Vatican made me a bishop in charge of some very important matters. But it's been so hard to distance myself from one's emotional attachments. 
Although I had not seen them for 20 years, I wished them all the best in their life together. And if it hadn't been for this, I wouldn't have thought twice about seeing Patrick again. That's right, Patrick. How, how can this be? He promised me he was going to take care of Elaine and make her happy. What could have happened? Robbers broke in and killed her. Being a witness to the gory aftermath. I have a hard time believing the caretakers were acting on revenge alone. Believe me, it was an unimaginably heinous sight. And what about these monsters that keep appearing? No, there's a bigger secret we have yet to uncover. Yes. This is the key to Patrick's mansion. Shall we go? Yes. <laughs> well, uh, th that, that was a lot. A lot of information dumped on us right then and there. So, um, yeah. All right, where am I on the map? Actually, we're going to take this uh, as a second to uh, take a little break, stretch our legs. I've been playing for about an hour now. Got to utilize the little boy's room, refill my drink. And, uh, yeah, we shall be right back. So, uh, do enjoy. Okay. Yes. 
Hello again. I'm back. Alright, we just had an explanation dump. We have to somehow get over to a blue door. Because that's the key I picked up. <sighs> Let's see here. How do I get over there? Well, that's a blue key, so that's going to be below it, maybe. It's a green key. Seventh floor. Ugh. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Well, that's through there, maybe. Patrick's mansion. Monastery. Yeah, it must be it. Uh, first and foremost, let's go downstairs and go talk to those babies again so I can give them their dollies. Alright. Talk before I go. Sorry, guys. Gotta look at the map again. Alright, I'm there. I need to get downstairs. And... All right, so I need to get over to there. I am right here. Stairwell leads. Go upstairs. Over. Go down. I get down, this, down more stairs. idea. Over there. Dead end. Oh, yeah, that was the treasure chest room. needed to go back to the, the room where I grinded out all that armor. Which is over here. <sighs> I apologize.
Alright. Time to fight these two little ghost, ghost kids again. Yay, I got the green key. I knew I came here for something. Good thing I remembered that. All right. Guess what? The green door is right here. <sighs> I need the green key for this one door. Did they really need to be holding the key? Give the kids their doll for the green key to open up the green door, which is right next to the kids that you have to give the doll to. They could have made it a, such a better puzzle than that. What's this, Listelle? Ooh, a potion. I'll take that potion. Found a potion. What do we got? Fight me. Come on. Oh, just, just faces? It's easy. Come on, give me something harder. Action, magic, mega. Get that guy in the back. Action, attack. That guy, shoot him in the face. Still alive. Oh shit. Action, magic. Who do bag away? That guy. <sighs> They're moving in. Same attack formation. Wow, James. Kill it. Killing rocks. Yeah, James, you did it. Did it. Yay, Mama Sita. I'm tired. Point blank shot. That was just a random guess. I wasn't actually expecting that to happen. Um, get some strength. Uh, Dex, you need some Dex. Dex again. Bent <sighs> <sighs> pie mind. Agility. Which get me? Potion, potion, bread! Fuck yeah, I got some bread. It's rusted shut. Let's go up these stairs. This mansion is connected to a dungeon. Found two potions. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. Also wasn't expecting to be standing on top of a table. Weird. Don't know where to begin with this. Shit. All right. Start walking around, pushing X. There's still food on the table. So let's eat. God, I'm hungry. Don't waste food, man. I'm 
getting attacked by tables and chairs. And this is a boss fight. Mm. Action magic. Let's see how strong bookcases are to fire magic. I hope not that strong. Yes, they are. They're floating, so I'll use Earth magic. Magic does pretty good. 3300. See how well uh, Megalith does. How did a book poison me? <sighs> yeah, keep going. All right, took out some chairs. Bring those to the goodwill. Goodwill would take cursed furniture. Reload, reload. Still, how did a bookcase poison me? Yeah, pistols. Things that float are super weak to earth magic. I shall keep that in mind. Saves me some MP for later. I am wrecking face. Oh shit, ghost girl. Charlotte, do you know what these are? Oh, letters to her. Your mommy loved you very much. The letters from your mother. My mother? Letters? There's so many! Did you know that your mother was a queen of Hanover? It seems that after you were born in secret, your mother was locked up inside Alden Castle. Even while she was imprisoned there, she sent many letters to you here in the monastery. She never laid eyes on you, but she often imagined what you looked like. She dreamt of the day when she would be able to see you. Her letters never got to you, and she was never told of your death, so she continued to write you letters even after you died. 
your mother loved you, Charlotte. Yeah, that wraps that up, I guess. No, no. I can't take, take this now. She loved me? me? No, no, no. It's, it's too, too scary. scary. Hey, hey, I can do it. What's, What's happening? happening? No. no. Help me. I saw this in Casper. How does it feel to know you are loved? Okay. Not gonna lie, that was pretty um, shoehorned. I don't know. Storytelling this game is kind of uh, all over the fucking place. <laughs> and that was the boss battle against Charlotte? Just a reused enemy skin as a boss? Not gonna lie, kinda let down. But I leveled up, so I'll get some pie. What'd you give me? Ooh, a potion and some distills. What'd you drop me? What's this? A flare brooch. I got the flare brooch. Does it give me the spell flare? If so, that'd be tits awesome. Does it gives me pie and int, vitality, plus mind and lock. Uh, no, but give me the earth badge. A little less int, but it gives me pie, mind, and vitality. A lot of vitality. I think I'll take the flare brooch. <sighs> Items. Accessory. Examine. Woman's accessory with multifaceted ruby centered and gold starting meant to represent the sun. Praise the sun. Especially since we all know where brooches go. Am I right, boys? <laughs> totally an adult. Equip. You got a ring and a badge. Let's see. Give you another earth badge. Lovely rusty pie. Ew. Gamer group. Goop. Granted, this controller isn't that much better. It's the one I got from Goodwill as well, and I haven't. It still also has like the from GameStop sticker on it. Like I kind of don't want to remove it. It's a GameStop sticker on a PlayStation 2 controller, or a PlayStation 1 DualShock controller. I kind of want to keep it like that. Looks like there's nothing useful here. This is apparently a cell. Not gonna lie. It's a pretty nice, pretty dank, dank cell. Food that was on the table is gone. Oh. Does that mean she ate it when she left? Or someone was watching our battle with quite the hunger? Eat. 
it's squishy. Yeah, I like it when games tell you that you don't need this key anymore, especially when you have a limited inventory space. Makes the... Alright, this looks like the fucking Spencer Mansion. Where if I find a typewriter room, that's a save room. I will laugh my butt off. What are you? Ooh, bow gun arrow. Yeah. Looks like you can move the statue if you try. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh. I don't know what that did, but it did something. Found Roger Bacon. Is this dude's name Roger Bacon? It's around here somewhere. Roger Bacon. Well, what took you so long? Roger, the mummy I have was in the coffin? Since when have you two been acquainted? I am no mummy. My name is Roger Bacon, and I'm just like any normal old man. I love this hey, guy so much. I've been around for 20 years, and I have yet to run across an old man as abnormal as yourself. I see. Well, I've been around for 600 years, and I've seen plenty of abnormal people just like myself. My dear old man. <laughs> Might you be related to the great warlock Roger Bacon, who made such a name for himself in the 13th century? <laughs> you are very knowledgeable. Mm, I am that warlock Roger Bacon you speak of. You mean to tell me that you were born in 1210 and have remained alive and well until the present date of 1898? Actually, to be precise, I was born in 1214. Kudelka. What type of a joke is this? That's my question. Well, this is no joke. I am the reputable Roger Bacon. Very well, then. If you were truly that Roger like Bacon, then you'll be able to tell me with whom and where you studied. Oh, that's easy. I entered Oxford in 1247 and studied under the tutelage of Robert Grosteste. Although a good professor, I would not consider him to be a wise man. I penned my masterpiece, Opus Myers, as well as numerous other books on natural science. Being a visionary pioneer, Hmm. I must say that my work has influenced generations of work that followed. But alas, in hindsight, that work pales in comparison to the work I did copying the immigre document for the Pope. The immigre documents? I figured you would know about that book. Of course. It took me five years to copy the book in its entirety. I know everything there is to know about the book. What is it about? Oh, is it, it unravels the secrets of life that expand far beyond the largest field. It speaks of the secret rituals conducted by the ancient race of Fomors on immortality. The Fomors would claim the lives of the resurrected as their own. They reversed the laws of nature and the cycle of life. When the Druids took over the Celts, Alexander the Great penned the emigre documents in Greek for placement in the Great Library. Resurrecting the dead. Oh, it is true. The document has long been considered the most dangerous work of literature. It was safely guarded in the caverns of the Supreme Pontiff's quarters. But apparently... The book was not able to withstand the wares of time over generations. And the Pope decreed that a new edition be created by copying the full text. That is where I came in. The Pope requested that I copy the book word for word. And when the work was finished, apparently, I was supposed to be killed. <laughs> But I am not one to be dealt with so carelessly. I, like I secretly so escaped, much. and eventually I made my way to the sacred land referred to in the text of the immigre document. And the secret rituals? Hmm. Uh, don't tell me. 
You need look no further than myself. And you succeeded. Hmm. Although Seems I cannot perform the same on others, yes, I have been able to escape the hands of death. But I have not been able to escape the roots of existence, which are the seeds of change. My body is not immune to change, as you can see by my hideous appearance. Mm. I've had nothing to do other than roam the earth for the last 300 years. I've seen all I can take of mankind's cruelty. So, <laughs> I return wait here till World War II. for some rest. <laughs> well, um, enough of this gossip. I've got some research to do. <laughs> May I ask to be left alone? Okay. Roger Bacon. Best character of this game. Hands down. 10 out of 10. Yeah, a little old season, crispy, jerky, would be a nice word for it. Not resistance the bullets. Ah, bullets, best spell. Uh, let's try geyser. Drown the books out. something. 7,000 damage or something. I opened the door from the other side. Neato. What's over here? The door is being held shut by some mysterious force. I must use magic.
Put in this way. Oh, okay. I'm guessing these are pistol rounds. Nope. Better. Shotgun shells. Always pick up shotgun shells. Speaking of which... Equip. You with the... Hey, that's pretty good. Agility goes up, strength goes up by a lot, vitality. Yeah, give the shotgun. Shotty. Uh, let's try the shotgun out, shall we? Then I probably will be able to ship it before I leave anyway, seeing as how this is a weekend, or a holiday weekend. So, yeah. It is Veterans Day tomorrow, after all. It, post office may be open on Friday. This looks like a trap. You found a gramophone. Research notes, September 10th, 19, 1895, four years ago. Rain. With the monastery re renovation complete, I have finally moved in with Ogden and Bessie. Those are the caretakers. It has been a long road since I first purchased the, uh, procured the emigre file. Even after referencing literature of all ages, the rendering of the text still remains a difficult task. Though it has been four years since I first laid eyes on it, never once has the enigma left the recesses, recesses of my mind. Contained in it are the countless descriptions of the source of the energy that is the secret to life, life's existence. The druid's cryptic experiment taken from the ancient Celts and recorded by Alexander the Great hundreds of years before Christ. I feel like that adds up. Cause wasn't Alexander the Great like after zero zero CE? Cause he definitely I don't think he was B he was B E or B C. Either way, I have to look at that later. It's been a long road since I first procured the Amigre file, even after referencing which oh wait, that went the wrong way. Branded a forbidden enterprise, it was kept hidden by the Vatican's cardinals in the depths of the Pope's quarters for a very long time. And now I have it in my hands. I've watched Wales, the land, ref and I've reached Wales, the land referred to in the text. Maybe it meant that there was no, 
answers. Okay, maybe it's talking about the Celts having it, the knowledge before Christ, because I'm curious where Alexander the Great was after. I don't know, I may be wrong. I've been wrong before, especially when it comes to history. Alright, uh. I will fulfill my, fulfill my wife Elaine's resurrection. Oh, that's the whole thing. Alright, Elaine is calling out to Keldelka. Elaine's trying to be resurrected. Built by St. Daniel, of course. Of course, I'm aware that my act. <laughs> could perform, prove insolent in the eyes of the Lord, and however people may censor my actions, the love I have for my wife will never cease. I ask you, of you, O Lord, to turn your eyes away for a short while. November 16th, 19, 1895. Rain. The more I learn about this monastery, the more eerie the structures appear to me. Ogden mentioned that the hospice had been full of corpses at one time, a few hundred years ago. And I've become aware of the oppressing sense of mortal sin as I walk through the underground passages. I can feel haunting spirits everywhere. But according to the meager file, the power of such resentful spirits are considered the driving force behind the reviving of the Druids' cryptic experiment. I plan to fill this place with the all-consuming ire of these spirits. Even though I may burn in hell for these sins, Elaine can be brought back to life. I shall have no regrets. December 5th, 1895. Rain. It sounds like it's Seattle up in here. Always raining. I found out that the cauldron hidden in the basement held the key to the secret. Even though the book had mentioned it, the well-positioned trick door kept us from locating its whereabouts. The cauldron looks as if it's as if it's made of gold but upon closer examination the surface is so old that one cannot determine how long it has been in existence I would guess that as a prehistoric artifact made of a few thousand or maybe even tens of thousands of years ago and left to sit we must quickly set up an altar and begin preparations for our ceremony December 5th 16th 1895 rain he's gonna say sunny and this like apocalypse is gonna happen I ordered Ogden to acquire some livestock. 320 chickens, 43 pigs were purchased through the supplier in town. That's a lot of pigs. Uh, I arranged for ground transportation, but the fog did not help expedite the undertaking. I expect it to be busy as soon as the delivery arrives. Animal offerings are an integral part of the Druid experiment. The cauldron must be filled with the freshest blood and flesh. This is where it begins. Ooh, oh my. Probably should have started reading this in the fucking you know, room here. The third experiment. Still no response. Even after I follow the directions and offer the proper prayers, there's no signs of the spirits gaining any strength. I must return to the book and reread some parts since I cannot proceed where there's been some misunderstanding of the text. Is there a problem with the way I conducted the experiment? Are the offerings insufficient? Regardless, I need to think this over, even though I may have arrived at a terrifying re re realization. It is too late to fear anything now. I have come too far to be impeded by fear. I'm sure Ogden will understand. March 19th, 1896. Rain. Return from London. A specially ordered carriage seems to be working very well. I've trapped three women in the baskets in the back. Yeah. I lured some victims out of an alley in the east, east end and had them sniff some chemicals and pulled them into the carriage. But since I was not used to my new role as an abductor, it took me more time than I planned. I couldn't have done this without Ogden's help. I'm deeply grateful to him. Rain. I'm still at a loss. I cannot make up my mind. Even if I could bring Elaine back to life, are my actions forgivable? I balk when presented at this dilemma. Bessie has been taking care of the women I've kidnapped. It's better than them freezing in some corner of London. I hope this small gesture of kindness will be considered as a Consider as a prior act of uh, repentance. I wonder if my small kindness will have any significance when, I, when held up to the horrendous act I'm about to commit. March 31st. I must make up my mind. I must. April 3rd. Storm. Dear Lord, 
I have without a doubt committed a crime no human should, be, should have committed. I conducted the druid experiment using the flesh and blood of the victims. I sensed an incredible energy of the spirits culminate into the, what I, when I poured the women's remains into the cauldron. And as I thought before, it is the human flesh that needs to be offered up and fully released with effects of the, of the procedures. What a frightening arcane process this is. The sounds of fury and the women's death screams have not left my ears. But I must go on. There's no turning back now. April 12th. Rain. Once again, I perform the procedures. I, long, I once again round up four victims from London. Even though they're all old with barely a thing to live for. When I can contemplate taking their lives, it leaves me sick to my stomach. It may be due to my doubts that the spirits do not did not rise to such powerful strengths as before. I may have to use a younger, more vibrant source of energy. The book says to fill the cauldron with energy of haunted spirits. I wonder how many victims the cauldron must swallow to be satisfied. June 5th. Rain. I do not have enough victims. The sanity of the presence of Daniel Scotus inhabits us all from claiming authoritative power. I have concluded that it will be necessary for us to offer many more lives before we are finished here. I have since found 35 more victims for seven separate experiments, but the spirits have now responded with much strength. For me to accomplish the resurrection, I am in dire need of the culminated strength of the spirits. I must come up with a way. I must come up with a more efficient way to procure my victims. July 15th. I officially received the first shipment of my victims. Ogden was right when he suggested that we should offer the Lord of the slave trade an enormous amount of money for this matter. He has no compassion for human life. The victims are not given much information and arrive in the monastery expecting a routine night's work. It is not necessary for us to go hunting for prey in town. With a few sugar-coated lies, there are plenty of people that climb right into the carriage. There's no one that will dare speak of what is to become of them. September 9th. Poured in the remains of the cauldron. The energy levels in the cauldron have clearly increased, which makes me happy, since it proves that I am heading in the right direction. It seems that... Lately, I have become more efficient at performing the tasks required for the procedures. However, Ogden and I cannot expect to become much more productive as it is impossible for us to hire help since we must keep this matter purely clandestine. I have decided to place an order for a laboratory table from an equipment manufacturer in Manchester. It will take about a month to make it, but once it receives this, we will be able to manage many more experiments. October 3rd. Butchered three bodies since, since morning. After lunch, we made repairs to the bell tower for the main church. After dinner with Bessie and Ogden, I butchered three more bodies. The lab table has proven its worth. The spirits have certainly increased in strength. At this rate, I may finish preparing for Elaine's resurrection all before All Saints Day. October 14th. Six, bo six bodies butchered in the morning, five in the afternoon, one after dinner. November 1st. How I have been w awaiting this day. The day to conduct Elaine's resurrection ceremony has finally arrived. The cauldron is brimming with the remains of my victims. This monastery is now consumed by the energy of the preternal uh, pre pre spirits. Even a saint could not hold his ground against the powerful energy of these hexed spirits. I took Elaine's body which had been preserved in chemicals for this very day, and placed it on the altar. I then began reciting the ceremonial chant. Elaine, you're still as beautiful as ever. I love you so much. Please forgive me for calling you back from the land of the dead. November 7th. Rain. What is going on? I've lost all hope. All my efforts and dreams have only been an illusion. The tree of life that grew upwards out of the corpse as if wrapping Elaine's body is, was certainly the manifestation of the druid's cryptic experiments I had been seeking. If God is capable of creating beings out of nothingness, then this is indeed a man-made example of his work. But to my horror, the image of my resurrected wife displayed in the flower petal looked just as she did before, 
get it lacked a human soul. So that's what was in that freaking tree. Creepy as fuck. Indeed, it was a monster. Dear God, is this punishment for you chosen for me? What have I have accomplished by victimizing nearly 200 innocent people? My only hope in life lay in believing that resurrection was possible and dreaming of the day when my wife Elaine would join me here in life on Earth once again. Now I have nothing but a cauldron full of blood and hexed spirits and a soulless monster. Is this the end that has been waiting me, dear lord? Have you no mercy? I only have one path left to follow. I have lost too much. I cannot even find words to apologize to Ogden and who has lent me his strength along the way. Now I only hope to sleep in a place with my wife. Well now. Apologize to all those who see this afterwards that are just going to be listening to that and the gramophone go off constantly and repeat the four or five tones. Something's not right. Boss fight time. I don't even know anymore. Like these, the, the fights against the like save room things have been more and more creepy. Like, or it was like you know some like, ghost here there or the ghost of the three of us or something or a giant plant now it's like a amalgamation of legs a bunch of legs it's all just legs I'm a leg guy but that's too many legs let's try fire that's a neat trick shotgun The shotgun does more damage the closer I am, which makes sense.
level up. Get some more pie. What'd you drop for me? Automatic pistol? Fuck yeah! Start laying waste to some motherfuckers. Alright, equipping that. Shotgun was cool, but automatic pistol. A little bit less strength, it's a bit quicker, less vitality, less dex, but it's not a mag pistol. I'm okay with this. <laughs> it's a mess. Uh, new type of pistol not often seen outside of Germany where it's manufactured for military use. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to enter the holy water. Save. Portrait room. I didn't really see a portrait. portrait map what do I got out of here where am I okay where I'm at now so if I go back out that door and Upstairs. Oh, there's a door up there. Okay, I missed a door. No, that's the little door that leads into that. Yeah, better look that down. So this is Elaine. Yes. She's the one I had the psychic vision of. Do you doubt it? No, indeed. Good. Let's begin. What am I doing? It's been a long time indeed, Mr. O'Flaherty. Oh, Elaine, is that really you? Yes, it is. It is such a pity that we meet again, and I can only present myself to you in this form. This is the woman that responded to my voice, is it not? Thank you for doing this for someone like myself. Elaine, I haven't yet come to terms. Please tell me how this happened to you. Of course I will explain. James, 18 years ago, I was murdered by some thieves that broke into my home. I was helpless. Both Patrick and Ogden were out on business. There was nothing that anyone could do. I will not accept this. This should not have happened. Yes. Patrick responded the same exact way. He could not accept my death. 
He spent years and years perfecting his craft and wizardry and tried everything in his power to bring me back to life. Resurrecting the dead? Is this for real? Hey, we're not talking about Frankenstein here. Frankenstein? You're, you're talking to a ghost, about dude. hundred years ago? He was taking it very seriously. And he had found the key to actually make it happen. The immigrant document. Yes. With Ogden's assistance and the powers from ancient druids, he held a resurrection ceremony in this monastery. But something went wrong, didn't it? He only resurrected my physical body. As you can see, my soul is still doomed to roaming the universe, forever separated from my body. And the terrifying thing is that my body was resurrected as a heartless monster. Monster. Although the monster may look like me, it is not me. Mr. O'Flaherty, Please, turn my body into ashes with your power. Ashes? But if I do that, we won't be able to bring you back to life. Mr. O'Flaherty, I was robbed of my life by those thieves, and I could hate them as mortal enemies. Choose to think that my death was preordained by the law. Please, do not mourn my death. It was wrong for Patrick to try to resurrect me. To undo the work of God. Please, do not be sad. Death is at the heart of God's reasoning. I urge you to destroy my body. Its existence defies the wise providence of heaven. It mustn't exist in this world. Wait, Elaine. God, curse. What a cruel world. I gave everything for your happiness, and now what am I left with? I have no meaning in my life. Sucks to suck, nerd. Damn it! doing with my life? Elaine! Elaine! <laughs> uh, p p p p my dear wife Elaine. Oh god, this room again. When I hear this in my fucking dreams. Come on, go up. Yeah, there we go. Go up the stairs. Is door unlocked now? Yes, it is. Ooh, spoopy. See a scroll with a picture of a dragon. With a dragon, are, it reads Hesta or Hestia. If you remember the correct, so that means hearth in Greek. I do not remember that correctly. Hearth. Alright, good to know.
I was expecting it to go full, you know, full daka daka, but, you know, I guess that is too much to ask, I guess. Because he's wearing, you know, he's an automatic pistol. I guess it's a stronger version of the pistol, I yeah. Gonna hope so. Alright, he's green, so he's a resistant to that. So, earth magic. Most of the MAC pistol does contain more ammunition, which is good. Email. Plate mail, you say. Alright, equip. Let's go. Boom. A little bit better luck, better vitality, not by much, so nothing too crazy. I'll be okay with that. Check this dude's desk. Nothing good. Empty bottle. Probably go pick up some acid with this. They're dropping some acid, yo. Patrick's memo. Let's read Patrick's memo. Note written by Patrick, monitoring his weight over a period of several weeks. According to it, Patrick has weighed Patrick weighed more or less seventy kilograms. Good to know. Seventy kilograms. There's more people at this table. Roman nuts? No nope, breath around. No. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. I will not go down the ladder at this time. I'm not done exploring this room. Uh, let's equip the rifle to Edward.
All right, I need to gain 30 pounds. Is there a way I can control the other characters? Dick. Actually, everybody, I think we're going to take another little break. <laughs> Good, we're at the level up screen, so we shall be right back.
and I'm back. Hello, everybody. All right, Koldelka, you need some stuff. Get you some uh, more int, some pie, and uh, vitality. Get your HP up. Ooh, rough rounds. Topped off on rough rounds. Well, let's go down the ladder. I need 30 pounds of weight to be on that scale. I think we're in here. Bounce. This chair looks weird. Panthea. God damn it, these controls. <laughs> damn it. <sighs> Guess what chairs we can dance? Bullets. Chairs weak against rifle bullets. Good to know. Dried food. Of course, I'm grab myself. Okay. 
Where am I? Okay. Let's see. Amps pretty much been everywhere around here. box yes <gasps> shotgun six can't carry more items no I must I, I need the shotgun though uh, let's see what weapons don't I want It looks like a dude, but at the same time, it doesn't look like a dude. Well, I can't proceed through here until I go destroy Elaine's body, which is probably just the, the giant fucking husk of a disgusting tree. Okay, I guess I'll head that way. <laughs> Must have been like a way out of there. A shortcut of some sort. Nope. Nope, there wasn't. I think I might go to beat this game today. Might be a long stream today, guys. Or, neato. Good job there, James. Level up. Let's see some uh, white 
vitality, pi, and int. Ooh, fancy, and a J ring. Ooh, what's the J ring give me? Let's see, equip. J ring? Mm. Nah. Is the air J ring better than this J ring? It is, slightly. Extra point's an extra point, right? bullet. It's a very funny noise when he shoots somebody. Ugh. Even though it's just a floating head. I think I'm a little bit too overpowered.
knew that would come in handy. Damn, I went the wrong way. Eh, I'm already going this way anyway. Let's see, let's check out that little girl's grave since, you know, I freed her soul. <sighs> Ooh, zombie in the graveyard, so original. Dead bird. Frozen bird, more like it.
Ooh, shotgun shells. And bread! Fucking love bread. Let's go make a sandwich. Weird. Oh, that's not good. Apparently I went the wrong way. Just maybe I have to use it in here? Damn. Pretty productive night. Sorry I haven't been too uh, interesting. <laughs> this is this a hint box? Go to fourth floor, hidden, sacred. Hmm. It's on the fourth floor. Hmm. I haven't gotten that far yet. Time. So far, it said something new every time. Holy strength. 
Daniel's arm. Where did that thing go? Rolling in healing items. Got more potions than I do in a normal Final Fantasy game. wasn't a plant, or that thing wasn't a monster. <laughs> so if I had to go somewhere... <laughs> where would I be lighting something on fire? Where have I seen a plant before?
shotgun arrows. Nice. Need to get back to the library. <sighs> so I heard about a plant before. Fucker. Best spell in the game. Don't need another Galahad sword.
Well, I'm kind of. Uh, I am playing with an analog controller, but I don't think the analog actually works. Yeah, the light's not lighting up. But so it's just normal D-pad for this one. See, I can feel a pulse coming from that plant. Where am I right now? Can I get below? Well, it's about 8 o'clock. Eh, do kind of want to go get food. And I'm kind of stumped. Getting kind of peckish. So I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, thank you, uh, Nito, for joining me and being here for most of the entire game. Uh, should be about one more time of getting through this once I find out where I have to light... Uh, what was it? Elaine, Annette. I have to light her on fire. Uh, so we'll get to light a ghost of, of long lost dead woman on fire. It's going to be great. I shall see you all eventually. I won't be on next week because I will be off on adventures, but uh, I'll be back next week, the week after. So stay tuned. Next time will be the final part. Y'all have a good one.